Because of the lack of responsibility and lack of interest, interest from the South African government in the country's citizens' welfare, especially the farmers of South Africa, our father was taken away from us on the 13th of March 2010. That's a mere three days after Julius Malema made his statement. In a violent and disrespectful action, my father's dreams and hopes for the future and his family was taken away from him instantly. My mother was attacked, abused, laughed at and nearly raped by people that know they do, they can do what they want. People that without any respect for anybody's life shot my father in cold blood, attacked my mother, knowing that the chances that they will be caught close to zero. These attacks take place on a daily, daily and the government and official does not give these actions a time of day. They do not care if these horrific killings, that these horrific killings is taking place because they are safe. They are comrades and know these things will not happen to them and their families. They go on with their daily lives, living in luxury and safety and the people on the farms trying to realize dreams and trying to make a living is being killed off like Jews in the Nazi war. Genocide is, is a closer des description to what is happening in South Africa at the moment and the South African government does not care. They are closing down murder and robbery units all over the country. The police working on these cases such as my father's firstly do not have the skills to catch these people and secondly the, the workload is so big that I did not give special attention to crimes such as my father, where that is due. My father was a great man, a man who cared for people, always tried to do more than what was expected from him. My father was not a violent man. He was a, a farmer with a few cattle and goats, doing what he loved. We are all asking how much more must happen. How many more Albert von Dieruses need to be shot dead in cold blood before anybody does anything? Is this worth asking? That on his crime of the van Dieruser family, Aniti, Rieta, Lisa, and Elmeri. Then it also a crime of Wim van der Bos, which we will be here to be here today. He is for us a boodschap gestuur om te lees. Dit was Julius Malema en die oop, dit was Julius Malema en die oop van Barak's kwijtraak en hoe hy aanhangers opstoot met sy gebraakte lied die die boere kan my met afgrijse verspil, om dan nie eers te praat wat sy mense alles op Facebook aangebring het nie. As ek al hierdie goed in die media lees, dan kan ek nie help as dat my gedagtes weer terug gaan na laas jaar goeie vrijdag nie, toe my ouwers, toe ek my ouwers gevind het. Die aand te voren nog saam weer gebring en die volgende dag moet ek my ma dood aantref by die achterdeer met 7 mens teke en my pa in die kalderhoek met die stik uitse dood geslaan. En dan moet Palema sy mense nog op Facebook aandring dat hulle niks voel vir die slagoffers nie. Ek kan dit nie anders sien as dat hy hierdie uitspraak met hierdie uitspraak sy ondersteuners aanspoor om dit alles in praktijk te gaan uitvoer nie. Ek eis van Malema openbare verskoning en hy moet liever vertel wat hulle gaan doen om hierdie land een misdaadvrije land te maak. Dit aan Wim van der Boos, wat sy pa ook 